guys welcome back to the channel my name is jazz i create lifestyle videos and showing you guys my daily living products that i use in my daily life so today we're gonna be actually right now i'm headed to the car i think i said car dealership but i'm actually going to the shop because my car has to get fixed like i told you i failed my inspection so i have to go see what's going on why my um airbag light is on they're gonna do a diagnostic hopefully that's not too much it is currently 7.52, and if you don't know, I'm not a morning person. I woke up at 6.30 this morning, so this is kind of rough for me to get into it, but we're going to make the best of it. Um, i got to stop by the P.O. Box later to get a package because I'm getting ready to do a product review, like a collaboration for another brand, but i got to figure out when I'm going to do this. I don't know how long that, that uh, thing is going to take in the shop, so we'll figure that out later, but as of right now, like I said, I'm headed to the shop to get this taken care of and then i'll get the stuff because it's gonna be a lot of stuff this week to film and you know prepare for that because dang that truck almost hit me bro like i was saying i gotta go get the stuff later we're gonna do a lot of um filming and editing for me this week so i'm gonna be pretty busy but i'm gonna make sure i record everything for you guys and i gotta turn my ac on because it's getting stuffy and i can't breathe but when my kid kid kids had kids all right y'all well i'll wait for my car to get serviced he told me I can go look at some of the cars on the lot. It's a lot of construction, so I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm going to just flip the camera around so you guys can see it. A whole lot of Teslas, for sure. Okay, there they are. I'm not really sure if I would. They're not bad, though. I guess the insides. These are what I came to see, for sure. This is the Santa Fe I was telling my mom to get. I showed you guys in another one. They don't look bad though. I want a Tucson. I'm looking for a Tucson. Okay, okay. Okay, there's one. But there's another one. I don't like, this must be an older version to be honest. There's a sportier one looking. Yeah, that's 2021. I'm looking for a 2022 Subaru. Kind of can tell how it looks almost. These bugs are going to tear me up. These are more of the Toyotas, Acuras, got a Mercedes. What's this one looking like? This is a 2019. I don't know about Mercedes, to be honest. I kind of go for the looks. They're okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the one I was talking about. This is like, kind of like a Tesla, but without the price of a Tesla, if you can see. Can you see? I think this one is actually somebody's car though. My car that I want is a tie between this one and the Tucson. These ones look so cool though. So I did forget to show you guys, look at the door handles. Flush. Look at my short self flush even the sides everything the wheels this is just a nice car bro yo i forgot to tell you something too so i was listening to potter's house the word yesterday and he was saying how he goes to um before he had money and stuff bishop td jakes how he went to these expensive clothing stores and all this stuff and he would go in and just say you know of course when they ask you, you need some help that he's just looking and when you know he needs some help he'll contact them or whatever that's one thing i thought about he said you have to envision yourself i'm trying to remember the wording because i was so tired yesterday i was out of it because i didn't have my melatonin which i noticed but um he was basically saying you have to practice with what you have and basically get ready for it and just um, not to say imagine or practice like you already have it so when you get out there and you know actually go get it motivation and stuff you know how to handle it so he said going to these places envisioning looking you know saying you're gonna get this and that and just kind of like manifesting what you want is a good thing too even if you don't have it or whatever just going out and looking and stuff that's another thing because right now i'm not in the market for looking for a car but eventually i would be so that's another reason why i come out and look at these cars and things like that get an idea a feel for it. so when the time comes i'll be ready for it that's another thing but yeah just looking at these i can't wait to get one of those soon i'm saying soon because it may happen soon you never know 
but yeah just speaking positive motivation and all that manifesting i always tell you guys i want to do positivity on here so that's just one thing i learned from the word that i wanted to share with you guys because i almost forgot about that yeah i think one of the ways i would get a tesla tesla i don't know why i'm seeing it weird the only way that i would get one is probably like one of these models more so this one i think what model is this this is a 2020 model 3 i like the white interior though but that's what i was saying the other one you can do the same i'm not quite sure though if i'm sold on the tesla i heard they're really comfy maybe i gotta sit in one one time but i was trying to see they do have a model x you guys know the model x is the ones right there when the door goes up the um passenger side doors they go up everybody thought that was so cool that's a 2017 what year is this? I like this one, kind of. Model Y, though. 2020. Blacked out. You can't see nothing inside. But they look cool. The white interior. This one's black interior. Oh, you just see me. Looking rough. Black interior, if you can see. I know you see the reflection of construction and stuff. But yeah. Just keep looking. Staying positive. And you know, I'm just killing time until my car is ready. I don't like to sit down. But that one down there, that might be mine someday. If I still want that, that iconic. Okay, so I'm leaving the shop. I have good news and bad news. Good news is I'm gonna pass inspection because it was just a cold. I didn't have to get anything else done. So I paid for that and did that. Bad news, um, I got something else going. Oh shoot. Alright y'all, so the news is I'm going to have to get something else fixed in the car. Over $2,000, that's for one job. And there's other recommendations I think. I know I needed my brakes fixed. And a bunch of other stuff. So at this point, I don't know. Like, am I getting this fixed? Is this my sign to get my new car? I'm trying to look at things positive. I really don't feel like having another car payment. I thought I'm just getting finished with this one. I'm going right back in that routine. So I don't I don't know where this is going. We're going to see. So you guys pray for me in the comments and stuff. And just wish me the best to see. Because I don't know what's going to go on yet. I haven't looked at anything else yet. But I, I know this car needed some work. Because my check engine light keeps coming on. And that was the cost for the repair basically. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. But I'm not going to settle in this like i said mindset is everything we're gonna move past this point so i'm gonna go to my p.o box like i said and do the <gasps> i keep breaking my nails but i'm gonna go to my p.o box and get the package and then also my food delivered i have this meal plan that my sister gifted me i'll explain that later when i see it but it should have been delivered already to the house it's sitting outside and i just thought about that i have to hurry up and get that because it's now almost 11 o'clock and i've been here since eight and they said it wasn't gonna take that long. That's almost four hours if you ask me. But no, I'm just kidding. Thanks for the service because you guys helped me out, did a big favor. I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna hurry up and go home and do what I gotta do. And I'll get back to you guys and we can have some fun. The box came in. Okay, so I told you guys last week I was getting a delivery and look what came, the factor box. And I told you this morning as well, but my sister gifted me some free boxes. Factor is something like HelloFresh, I believe, where the food is already cooked and prepared for you. I don't know of another um, brand to compare it to. This is not sponsored or anything, but I got a couple free meals to try and maybe if I like it, I might you know, order them again to see how it is. So let's unbox. Did this to cover my address to make it easy. Oh, okay. All right, so no prep necessary. They're fresh meals, simple ingredients, all that good stuff. Boxed and ready to unbox and carbon neutral company. So I guess if you guys want to save the world. But this is really good because it can fit whatever dietary need, I think. I did leave it out and forgot about it. So it kind of like melted. But that's another test because it's still cold because it's been out all day, basically. It's three o'clock now. I took a nap and forgot stuff right oh free meals okay i'm not showing you guys that yet maybe i might can give you guys a free meal we'll see but this 
is the good stuff yeah this thing is still frozen so you don't have to worry about it being a hot day and all that if it's gonna melt because listen it's still solid here's the mills funny thing i did hear this before and saw an ad but i never tried it and then she sent me this thing so i can order some and now we're gonna go ahead and try it so i just got four of them four free meals and that's another ice pack so these things are definitely still very good they did a good job with packing this i can tell you that okay now let's see if i can tell you which one is which um I don't know if the colors have anything to do with the style or not. Oh yeah, so I got a teriyaki chicken burger and they put preparation instructions and all that on the back. That is actually really good. This is the Egyptian pasta with chickpeas and lentils. That sound, oh yeah, that sounds good with zucchini and smoky tomato sauce. I might go for that to try. This one is the Creole chicken, ooh, and okra jambalaya. That might be dinner i don't know and then a peruvian shrimp bowl i might have my mom try this one because some of them had like milk and stuff and i wanted to get all a bunch of different stuff to try to see how it will look so i'll have my mom probably try this one and see how it does but that's with um cauliflower grits and broccoli guys i don't know which one to choose i almost want to try this creole chicken and okra jambalaya i think i'm going for that one and this could be dinner too and then this could be lunch tomorrow i think that's what we're going with all right let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like they say it's never it's fresh never frozen meals even though this is kind of frozen it's fresh in a way but you guys know what i'm talking about no prep no mess heat in two minutes and that's it if you're on the go that's perfect so this one i just got a microwave pierce the plastic like any other one and i'll just microwave on high for two minutes and then um if more you know you know how to warm food up guys and then let it sit and do it or you can put it in the oven and bake for seven minutes and this whole tray can actually go in the oven actually you can put this whole tray in the oven what the heck Ooh, okay that's more like it you guys seen what it looked like now time to do a little taste test it smells so good looked really really good so i'm gonna get a bite of the chicken let's go for it mmm very flavorful and the chicken's not dry okay i'm gonna taste everything and then i'll give a rating and then i'm gonna eat the food chicken and dewy sausage good i gotta reheat it because of course when i'm filming and stuff i kind of let it cool off a little bit too much so i gotta put it back in the microwave and that's the only thing but let's taste the rice and the okra a scoop of rice and okra this is brown rice as well Mm -hmm. okay so this one i would give it a seven or eight out of ten simply because i would like it with a little bit more spice i like my food spicy but it's honestly really not bad especially for it to be somewhat frozen because it's not really frozen but this was actually really really good for it to be this like kind of fresh you know i like my food freshly cooked so this right here was actually really really good i would recommend this and i think i have cold so if those work i'll give you guys a code in the comments whoever comments and wants it i'll drop them choking i'll drop them here or there in the video if you guys think you might want to order this but i am going to try two more of these and probably in this week because they have to be eaten i think by the 31st so i'll give another review of all these foods too i'm probably gonna have one for dinner so i'll tell you guys how that tastes as well but if you guys want one of these to try i believe you get like four free meals or one free meal something like that and i don't think you have to pay for anything like shipping or any of that and if you guys want to leave a comment below and i'll give you guys the code for that so let me heat this up i'm gonna eat and then i'll get back with you with the next part of the vlog okay so mom's got the peruvian shrimp bowl with red pepper cauliflower grits and broccoli this looks pretty good this looks pretty good mm -hmm. so just remove your we're gonna do the microwave right yeah you get the big old chopper man. so mine i got for this is minutes. yeah the egg i said eggplant egyptian pasta with chickpeas and lentils and this pasta is gluten free Okay, so yeah, these are like cauliflower grits. Ooh, it's hot. It looks good. Mm-hmm. And is this like a butter sauce or something? Oh, or the grits? I think it's spicy. It smells like it's almost like the one. But it's Peruvian shrimp. Yeah. So, oh, so, so the sauce might be Peruvian. So do I go over it or just... Taste it however you like it. You can put it wherever. 
It's up to you. It might be for the shrimp or something, probably for that. That's what I'm saying. Am I recording your face? No, I'm here. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Hot. Hot. <laughs> that sauce. We gotta make the sauce. So it's like a garlic butter type. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I know they're all good. Okay, so rating out of ten. I think this is a ten. I'm gonna try really? this sauce. My first one, I said like a seven or eight. This is a ten. This is really good. So guys, I think I might have ran into a problem. It smells good, but I smell coriander or curry, which is coriander, I really smell. And I absolutely hate coriander. Sorry to say that's a strong word, but something about, I'm not gonna like this, I smell it. I don't know what it is, something about it, I just absolutely cannot eat. I'm trying to be positive with it, but I have a feeling it's not gonna work out right. <sighs> All right, I'm trying the zucchini first, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Zucchini's good. Uh, this pasta, I don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might be able to get away with it. Honestly, I really don't know. I think the smell is throwing me off, but it's actually not bad. Okay. I still give this one a seven or eight. Maybe a seven. It's just the smell is throwing me off. I'm not showing my face. I look rough. I did forget to show you guys that I got this drink from Wegmans too to try. I had another flavor before, but I brought one of each flavor to try now. So this one is ginger lime. It has like apple cider vinegar and stuff in it. I can't remember if I showed you guys the other one before, but this is what it, the ingredients are. I'm pretty sure it tastes good though. Mmm, that's a different taste. Well, guys, it's early in the morning. Not early. I was supposed to wake up early and go to the gym. <gasps> a freaking fly almost flew on my, my food. Ooh. Get it out. It, it went out. Shut it. No, it you made it back in. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's okay. out? Yes. I almost spilled my whole thing. Jesus. You would have been mad. Okay, we're on our way to the gym. And I just realized I had left my water. Dang it. I got a Gatorade, so I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm on my way to the gym, like I said, we're trying a healthy lifestyle, all this. I'm actually in the middle of doing a product review collaboration with a brand, which I'm not going to say the name of the brand yet because it's a fat burner. But like I said, they have all kinds of stuff like this, which I'm starting to pick up my energy because I had some already. But um, this one is stimulant free. I don't like the pre-workouts that make you itch and all that. I've been stopped taking those. But if you guys want to see the full review on all, like this one and all the other products, you guys got to check out that video, which I'm pretty sure is probably going to be up before this week vlog. Hope it, hoping, hopefully, I think so. But I'm going to go to the gym now and test out the product and see how it works. I'm trying to talk really fast so I can hurry up and eat and get out of here. All right, be back. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Legs wobbling, did you forget where we parked? Workout done. Okay. I gotta put my sunglasses on. It's too bright. Got we did to say. it, guys. We did it. It's too bright outside. I need my sunglasses. All right, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. That did kind of. Now that I'm feeling it, my back a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was born with that stuff. I it felt I, good though. That stuff works. So I don't know if I showed too much of the work. I don't know where I'm putting the workout. I don't want to do double content. Maybe I'll show mm -hmm. part in one workout and part in another, and I'll put the screenshot again of also what I did. I said I had a Gatorade. I already done sipped it earlier. <laughs> like last night, I must have. No, I drank it this. Did I drink it this this morning? I don't know. I really don't remember opening this. Okay, this is weird. I could have sworn maybe I opened it. I'm telling you that work. That thing had me going. I was on every machine it was. Mm. Hydration. All right, we're going to the store to get some stuff that we need. Get back with you. All right, y'all, I'm back home. I got my last meal of the day, which is a teriyaki chicken burger. I'm assuming this is gonna be really good. I can definitely tolerate this one. Stream beans are my go-to, chicken, of course, and then I think that's carrots and maybe cabbage. Yep, cabbage and carrot coleslaw. So all I gotta do is put this in the microwave for two minutes and enjoy it. Oh, and I forgot it. I got a new band too when I went to the store, so I need to put this on because I'm sick of this looking like that after I broke the strap and lost it. This just looks so sloppy. What 
Okay, so I like to give honest reviews, and if you take a look at my plate, you can see the food, I still honestly will rate it 8 out of 10, but I figured out it's the cabbage and carrots that has the coriander in it, and it kind of, I think they might have put some in the burger, which made me not like it. As you can see, I ate the green beans, I crushed the green beans, there was nothing wrong with that. But it's just me with coriander. Any little slight seasoning of coriander, I keep telling you guys this, I really cannot eat it. This was better than the last one. I ate more of it, but I absolutely cannot. So I got to try to make something else to eat. But on the plus side, this one actually was better than the last one as well. This orange soda. So this was really good. But when I make something else, I guess I'll show you guys that. But I couldn't do it. The food's not bad. I would recommend it to people, but it's just me simply. I absolutely do not like coriander. I might have to try some new ones too, but we'll see. Good morning guys don't mind me for looking crazy I don't know where I left off in the vlog but um, I'm working on some sponsored content like I said which is why I have this special coffee if you guys catch the other video you know what it is but I'm working on some of that content now and I thought about just cleaning the pantry and going through things because we got some stuff that's old and it's gonna be trash day and like you know we're on this healthier kick again so We've been going shopping and getting different food and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure we have our cabinets and everything, how we like them and all that. Should have got my tripod to set you guys up to be honest, but this is kind of like a spur of the moment thing while I'm home before I start editing and just getting everything nice and healthy and ready for us. Cause my mom's back on the journey too. She's trying some of this stuff. I'm doing this fat shredding product. If you guys are interested in that, you can check out the other vlog. I didn't do my hair or anything. So you know, this is just, raw uncut and all that but let me show you so i have my oatmeal that i'm actually gonna make today did i take a pack out no i didn't i'm gonna do this one today instead of my other toast that i was doing avocado toast and all that i've been wanting oatmeal for the longest and probably put my little baby banana maybe i can do like peanut butter banana or something like that because i got new peanut butter and then my products and stuff there but these are good. I gotta dry that out. Dumping out some of the chips and stuff because they get stuck back there. And I see my containers and I'm thinking about meal prepping. Because as you guys saw earlier when I tried those factor foods, it was really good. But the simple fact is you can't control how much sodium and the seasoning they put in. So the stuff was good in certain seasons I don't like. Like Cory ander that messed up half of the food for me everything tastes good but it's just something with coriander i keep telling you guys this so i feel of course if i make it myself i didn't like meal prepping before i tried it before and when i did meal prepping i'm very picky about what i eat so it's like i will only eat it for a couple of days or so i can't i, I like my food fresh which that food seemed really fresh so that means i can only prep my food for like 
a day or two like two days probably and then switch up the foods which isn't a bad thing too because when I'm coming home from the gym coming from work or just want something really fast that came in handy because sometimes I'm like starving after the gym so those foods really came in handy I want to prep some breakfast that I've seen some people do too so that's another thing but as of right now I'm just kind of cleaning up got to get myself together in my room and I don't know this is not like a reset or anything just doing my daily stuff so apparently i have rice cakes for days i guess uh, i'm also sad i just got this ready whip that day i made banana pudding and look it was just jacked up i have to buy a whole new one and i actually started liking that one too i almost forgot to show you guys my breakfast i made the oatmeal i got some bananas some people put honey i tried maple since it's already maple syrup i don't like honey and of course if i didn't say blueberries and then this is more banana inside the um, actual oatmeal itself. I kind of mixed it in while it was cooking. And then my coffee. I like my oatmeal kind of soupy, runny. I guess like a porridge style. But I don't know if you guys like that or not. I'm just going to mix it in anyway. So this is pretty good. I can add a little bit more. But I think this is actually perfect right here. Okay, y'all. I'm on my way out the door. I finally got the high puff again. It's not how it used to be. But take a guess if you think you know where I'm about to go. But here is the fit. I still never move my chair, bro. It's becoming like a, a table just to put stuff on. But yeah, I haven't worn this in a minute. And my shoes, BRB. These are dairy free, but I think they both probably have wheat. Does it? Yep, they both have wheat. I had lemon the last time, so I'll try these. It's chocolate. This one. Yeah. And it only has a little bit of coffee, though, I'm guessing, but. I think that would taste because you do smoked stuff too sometimes. Oh yeah, I might try it. Get it. Oh, and here's a smoky one. Oh, get that one. You want smoky? You sure? There's another yeah, one. This is the one this one. is the original. Fish. Yeah, this is sweet and savory for chicken and all that. Okay, guys, my mom prepped most of the veggies yesterday, so I just cut up some potatoes. I got the beef turkey sauce, it's not beef. And of course, the ginger I'm gonna put in and some onions. Then I got chicken. We're making some kind of stir fry today. Am I missing an ingredient? You already got garlic, so yeah. you don't need this one. So I'm just gonna cut it up and show you guys what it's gonna look like as I'm cooking. guys welcome back for the next day don't mind the way i'm looking y'all I, I i'm not gonna lie i just woke up i had me a good nap i was snoring and all i needed that rest for sure i've been working hard on to the car subject no i'm not gonna get another car right now two i'm probably gonna get some of the stuff fixed on my car i believe but that's gonna be probably next week's vlog i'll show you i thought i was gonna show you me removing my tent and stuff but i might put that on next week's vlog and then um get it reinspected because so far it's on track for passing i have to do that and next week I got some packages to open for you guys. I have a couple of them coming now. I want to open them all at the same time and not here and there. So that's going to be another thing to look forward to. So you got to make sure you subscribe to the channel so you guys can catch the next video that I do. But this week was a pretty chill week. I got to try the factor foods and all that stuff. Trying some new recipes for you guys so you guys can see that. I'm going to be back on the grind making some shorts and TikToks and all that to get back active with you guys. I got some fun, exciting content coming up soon. So you guys make sure you subscribe like I always try to tell you guys. Mindset is everything. Make sure you're doing positivity. I got a new journal that I'm going to start doing every Every night which is something you guys can get to try as well to keep track of how your day is going and things you can do to improve that so again like I was saying my intent is everything and I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll catch you guys on the next video